Mary Kate and Ashley dressed as tiny little penguins is one of the cutest things that I have ever seen. The Adventures of Kate and Ashley Case of SeaWorld Adventure is actually a little bit different to the other two that I have seen. I have seen two to date, uh, apart from this one. Um, I've seen the Funhouse Mystery and Hotel Who Done It. I've also read but not seen Thorn Mansion. So this is my third, technically my fourth, Adventures of Story. And the case of SeaWorld Adventure is actually a little bit different because they're not in their attic. They don't answer Olsen and Olsen Detective Agency. But they are still dressed as detectives at SeaWorld. Their parents work at this SeaWorld as dolphin trainers. And Mary Kane and Ashley are... They're looking for a case. Nobody is... Obviously nobody can call them to give them a case. They're looking for something. And they happen upon what they believe to be a dead body. And I will say, this takes a good 15 minutes to happen, half of the episode, to actually get to the case. Before that, we have them dressed as penguins singing and dancing, which is adorable. And when they found this dead body, and I did kind of think, really? This is quite grim for, you know, this kind of thing. Usually it's like petty theft and unusual noises, but dead body? Is there a cadaver? Okay, let's run with this. I will say I didn't work out why it was there or what it was meant to represent. I'm not very good at working out or detecting these mysteries, which as a crime writer makes me feel a lot of shame. I, I did enjoy it, but I do think that because it followed a slightly different format to the other ones that I've read and seen, I it felt a little bit different, unexpected. There are, as always, two songs in this. The first is the Penguin one. The second is one called Miami. And I will say the vocals in that are not great at all. Like, I don't even think they edited the vocals. Which is fine. They're eight or nine years old. They're absolutely adorable. They don't need to be great singers. But compared to the rest of them, it just feels like they weren't edited as much as they usually are. Really enjoyed both their performances, of course. Again, it's completely unbelievable the things that they do being you know, eight or nine, depending on when it was filmed, is, you know, unacceptable for children of that age. But considering they usually hypothetically travel thousands of miles from their attic, I think we can let that slide. The Case of the SeaWorld Adventure is not my favourite, but while I wasn't necessarily favouring the lack of attic, I, you know, it was refreshing, it was different, and... Seeing them dressed as penguins, completely worth it.